Okay, so this video we're going to finish off 6.11. Uh, in the last video we talked about the dual simplex method and we looked at an example where we added a new constraint and now we're going to uh, look at the case where we have a new right hand side and we're trying to find the new solution. So just as a reminder what that situation is, suppose that a non uh, right hand side of a constraint is changed until it's negative Right, so then the, if the right-hand side is negative, that means your solution is no longer feasible. And so we want to see if we can find a new solution to incorporate that uh, new constraint. <clears throat> and so before we had the dual simplex method, we had to start from scratch, right? Because our current basic solution uh, changes. But now we want to use the dual simplex method to try to incorporate that new constraint into the problem. So here's a quick example here, uh, starting with this max problem, real basic, small problem here. Um, and uh, here's our final tableau. And so uh, just for extra practice, uh, by how much can I change this value for and remain uh, and keep the current basis feasible? Do you remember how you compute that? I'll give you a second. Pause if you want to compute that yourself. Okay, we'll continue. Uh, it's going to be B inverse B plus the delta times the first column of B inverse. B inverse B, of course, is our final right-hand side here. So that's going to be 2, 2 plus delta times the first column of B inverse is underneath S1. That's uh, 2 minus 1. We want that to be greater than or equal to 0. Good. So therefore, our delta must be between minus 1 and 2. So what happens if delta is minus 2? Well, that's going to mean that our current basis will change, and we'd like to try to find the new solution. Okay, so that's our setup. So let's go ahead and incorporate this delta equals minus 2 into this tableau. And if we do that, what does our right-hand side become? Uh, let's see, 2 plus minus 2 times 2 uh, would be minus 2 on the top, and then plus 2 on the bottom, so that would be two, minus 2, 4. Okay. And then, um, so there's our minus 2 and our 4. And then to get the 8, right, you take the old CB transpose. Remember that CB is 3, 2 here. And so we have, to get the new value of Z, right, I would take 3 times the top value plus 2 times the second. Okay, so in this case I'm taking 3 times minus 2 plus uh, 2 times 4. Oh, wait a minute. Did you notice that these are opposite? Uh, that was tricky. 3 times 4 plus 2 times minus 2. Okay, 3 times 4 is 12 <laughs> minus 4. Does that give you 8? I think so. Okay, and so uh, that's how you get your new z value. Alright, and so everything else stays the same because all we changed was the right hand side. And now um, what I would like to do you notice that the current solution is infeasible. Well, we're going to try to use this dual simplex method to incorporate this new right-hand side into the problem. So, uh, can you see how we're going to do that? Do we have a pivot? No pivot there, no pivot there, no pivot there. There's a pivot. So, S2, we're going to pivot into this column now. So, the first thing I'm going to do is multiply everything by minus 1, pivot in that position, and what do I get? I get this. Okay, so this is my new solution. And so um, x1 is equal to 2, x2 is equal to 0, and my right, new right hand side is equal to 6. Okay, so I've been able to, so in this case I was able to quickly incorporate my new solution into the problem. All right, here's another example. In this case, notice that we have mixed constraints. So we have a greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Uh, we also have mixed constraints up on top. And so let's see how to incorporate this into our tableau. Here's our initial tableau. And then we'll go ahead and multiply through by negative 1 on this first row. Okay, and now I've got a solution, but it's not feasible. And also up on top, <coughs> the dual is also not feasible, right? And so... Uh, the idea here is that if you have both primal and dual that are infeasible, try just normal simplex method first just to see if you can get something to work. Because um, we want one of these to be feasible. 
and so we'll go ahead and use this column and then uh, we don't use the minus one for our ratio test right so that'll force us to pivot in this position right here so let's go ahead and pivot in this position and see what we get uh, pivoting in this position right here will give us uh, this new tableau and now you'll notice that all of the row zero values are positive which means that our dual is now uh, feasible and the problem of course is that our, our now our original problem our primal here is still infeasible but now we can use the dual simplex method to pivot so where am I going to pivot I'm going to take the ratio between um, one and so I'm going to take one divided by five and then five divided by three the minimum is this five so I'm going to pivot right there and so the, when I pivot the first thing I'm going to do is multiply through by minus one right and then I'm going to do row reduction and I end up with this tableau incorporate everything is now incorporated into the um, problem or we have positive right hand sides and we also have positive on the top therefore this is both dual feasible and primal feasible and we have an optimal solution x1 is equal to 2 x2 is equal to 1 and the right hand side is equal to 3 very good there is our solution. Okay, so um, this was an example again of mixed uh, mixed uh, constraints and a mixed row zero. And again, the rule of thumb that we had there was, it, you know, if you cut the mixed constraints, you might try just using regular simplex first to see if you can get one of the two things to be feasible, either this all positive or this all positive, right? Very good. All right. Uh, so try out a few of the problems and uh, oh before we go let's try another uh, constraint I forgot that I had this on here so if I add in a new constraint what happens to my uh, basis does the basis remain feasible so do you remember what oops sorry about that <laughs> do you remember what you do first when you get a new constraint you check to see if your solution uh, still works for that okay so in this case uh, let's see 2 plus 3 is 5 is 5 less than 3 uh, no so therefore uh, what's going to happen when we try to bring that in uh, to our new so this is our new constraint down here what happens when I try to incorporate that by doing row reduction here to get rid of the 1 and the 3 well, I get this row with a negative 2 on the side. So therefore, this means that my current solution is not feasible. What are we going to do next? We're going to see if we can incorporate this, uh, or incorporate our solution into the new constraint, right? And so to do that, we'll do the dual simplex method. So we take 6 fifths divided by 2 fifths, 7 fifths divided by 9 fifths. We look for the smaller one and pivot there so our next pivot will be the three four position three one two three four that one right so we're going to pivot in the s2 column very good so if i do that i get this tableau and now let's go ahead and uh, interpret the solution here so if i look at this i see x1 is four thirds x2 is five ninths e1 is equal to zero s2 is equal to ten ninths and now I have incorporated that new constraint into my problem and I have a new solution. Very good. That's it. Have fun with the exercises. Uh, talk to me if you have any problems. See you later.